what is up guys jpl tech here and today i'm going to be showing you how to get 4k light quality out of any camera that has clean hdmi out now if you're into videography you're probably familiar with the atomos ninja recorders now these take the video feed from your camera via the hdmi and record uncompressed signal directly into formats such as ProRes for Apple users and the DNHD for Windows. Now these formats are huge but are so much better than the XAVC S files that are compressed in the camera's internal codec. Now the more expensive recorders they could cost an arm and a leg or about a thousand dollars if you got that laying around. Now these actually can record in 4K 10 bit. Now the cheapest recorders that record in 1080p are like the Blackmagic Design Video Assist, the Atomos Ninja 2, which both cost over $500 and that's a lot of dough. But if you're broke, don't have any money for fancy 4K cameras or recorder, I'm about to blow your mind with this little hack that I found in a forum in the EOS HD. But I haven't really seen anyone update or post any videos in YouTube on this. Now in order to get 4K light quality out of your footage, you're going to need a 4K converter. I'm using the Rotoku HD Up Converter. It's a no-name brand and it's from I got it from Amazon Japan for about $50 or so. Uh, they have a lot of different variants and this takes an 1080p image and upscales it to 4K at a resolution of 3840 by 2160 at 60 hertz. It's powered via USB port, so this thing is mobile. It's tiny and light, perfect for mounting on a rig. So now we gotta take the footage that we got, the 4K-like footage, and record it to an external recorder. Now the recorder I'm using is a Japanese brand, IO Data, and they're known for external hard drives. Now the model I have is a GVHD recorder, and that records HD footage through HDMI. Now, unfortunately, this HD recorder only supports up to 1080p, 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second, which is great for slow-mo, but there is no 24p and that is a bummer for cinematic footage. Now, you have the option to save all this footage into the SDXC card that can be inserted in the device or a USB stick plugged into the USB port. It even supports external hard drives for unlimited recording. Now there is an additional HDMI out that you could pass through to an external monitor seeing that this recorder doesn't have any monitors or uh, screens whatsoever to see what you're recording. It does have a status light that shows what indicates when you're recording. Now this recorder is powered by a DC adapter but I just got a DC to USB cable and plug it into a power bank to make this a mobile recorder. Now the heaviest part of this rig is actually the battery and I was using the power about power bank that I reviewed earlier but that is overkill for this setup I ended up getting a couple of 3000 million power banks from the dollar store they cost about five dollars each and that is more than enough to get hours of footage now with some velcro tape I turned this rig modular I can put them together apart very easily you can mount it using a smartphone mount or if you don't want to mount it you could just run your HDMI cable through your bag, the zipper, and that's it. Just have the camera wired to my backpack. Now in my channel, I do have a video where I compare the footage from the A7S straight from the SD card to the upscale 4K footage recorded into this HD recorder. And I, actually I was blown away by the difference. There is definitely an increase in sharpness. Now in a future video, I'll be breaking down the details of the HD recorder and give you my thoughts on it. So don't forget to hit that little bell to notify you when that video is up. So if you guys are looking for a way to improve or get better image out of your camera, and if your camera does support clean HDMI out, then this is a very valid solution to get really nice crispy footage for cheap. So if you like this video, I really appreciate your feedback by hitting either thumbs the up or down, it doesn't matter. Leave any questions down below and I'll see you guys on the next one. Mata next.